Okay, you guys. <laughs> I cannot help but laugh. I'm going to show you guys my planner, but if y'all can see how this tripod is rigged in my kitchen right now, I'll be sure to take a picture and share it on my Instagram. Um, <laughs> I just could not get this tripod to go somewhere and actually work. So if you feel like you're swaying in any way, it's, it's not you. It, it's you're hanging from a lamp <laughs> right now. And it's, I got it to finally calm down and only sway like the tiniest of bit. But anyway, all right, let's get into my planner. Let's get out of the way right now. Yes, my nails are absolutely wild, very different than I've ever done before, but I freaking love them. And I will link who I get my nails from down below if you feel inclined to get yourself some nails too. And yeah, so this is my medium Campania. It's probably about my 50th one that I've been in. Um, if you've followed me for a while now, you know that. But I decided to go, go ahead, get myself a personal, get myself all organized in rings because I know come fall, I'll probably want to use it. Yeah? Hold please. Actually, I don't dare touch my phone, but oh, oh, see, can you tell I'm on the ceiling? It's shaking. All right, now we're not sure where I left off. So here we go. Let's jump into my medium Campania. Most of my inserts, I already had them. It is so loud in my house. Most of my inserts I already had. I mean, I've used personal many, many times. So dividers, um, all that kind of stuff. You'll see when I'm flipping through the planner, but my planner does button. It, it does close. Barely. I can't have a pen in there. Otherwise, it will not close because I have 30 millimeter rings in here, which makes things go right to the edge. So I'd rather have the inserts in my planner than a pen. Now, in my front pocket, it's pretty minimal. Zipper compartment has like stamps and stuff in it. This is just a, a recipe card from my grandmother. My contact info is found. Just some little bits and pieces in here. A picture of my husband and I. And these I will link as well. The little bookmarks are super pretty. The, this one's from Southern Bell. Mm, I don't want to mess up the name. I will link it below. So getting into my setup, it's the same as it's always been. Notes, finance, calendar, daily. Although I did switch daily and weekly around and then put my wellness in there. But, and then we get into my family section, etc. So these dashboards are from Foxy Fix. You cannot get them right now. I know there are other people who carry them. I just don't have any that I can link for you at this moment, but I've had them for a really long time. These dividers that you're gonna see throughout my planner are from Sparkly Peach Co. And then I just have a mixture of some vellums and stuff. And then this is my notes section. So this is more permanent notes, things that I want to keep on hand. I do go through it regularly and get rid of stuff, especially if I'm switching from one size to an X and then I go back to personal size, I'll just go through my notes and get rid of things that have been there a long time that I don't really care about. But I have a couple of things in here. I have contacts, phone numbers, etc. in there. So I just have a paper clipped off, just random, random things. And then I have a bunch of the beautiful floral paper, paper from SM Plans tucked in the back in case I want to write some other things down. I did make some dashboards. Sorry for all the glare. Again, you're above a lamp right now. But I did make some dashboards. So this is my finance section. This is bill, bill tracking, things like that. So I can just mark things off. I have a spending tracker. I don't always follow through with, through with noting down everything I spend. To buy list, I have to get Lila's field hockey stuff. Online orders. And then I have a checkbook register from Annie Plans. And then this section somehow ended up being multiple dashboards with things. I mean, I just made these. Oh my gosh, the glare is terrible. Maybe if I turn the light off. Let's turn the light off. Does that make it any better? <laughs> eh, yeah, probably. Got rid of the glare. So this is my calendar section. And here, my first section is my waiting on section. So our working on. So basically I need to do jujitsu signups for our kids, field hockey, I'm waiting for their start date. And then this $650 rebate from Verizon, don't even get me started on them. Um, yeah, that's something that I'm still dealing with. Then I have Ryan's schedule. This is the same schedule that I've been using for a long time. And then this is another Peanuts Planner Co-insert that I use for 
vacations for, this pertains to like my kids' school. So if they missed a day because they were sick or whatever their school schedule is as far as vacations and whatnot. I have no idea what I was tracking on this. At some point I was tracking something, but I just kept it in here. These are SM plans inserts as well. And I just note down anything substantial that happened. And then, yeah, so then we get into my calendar. So my monthly, I just put the same exact inserts I had already been using in here. And it is completely filled out all my months. And then here we are in July, July filled in. And then I just keep going. Like if I have, if I already know things that are happening, it's already written in here. So the rest of the year there. And then dailies. Dailies I kind of played around with at the beginning of the year when I was using personal. But then I ultimately switched to the Sweet Caress inserts. I used to use it in my pocket, my other personals, and I just find that they work best because all I literally do is brain dump out my day of things that I need to get done. So this was back in March when I was using these. I will probably just take these out, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to show you just kind of how I use them. And then I have a, a pretty good stack of those in here. This is a printable. I've shared that on my Instagram before. It was just a printable that's on Pinterest or the internet. I don't remember. I have it saved in my phone. And then another dashboard I made. There's our kids with the covered bridge near our house. And this is my kind of wellness gratitude section. So I don't want to go too much into detail in here because it has a lot of my personal stuff and I'm just not ready to show all that yet. But I do have a health log, a note log, a tracker for my cycle a weight log, a fitness log, and um, a food log. Those are all SM Plans inserts. You can get them on her Etsy shop. And that is that. And then I have a gratitude section, which this is an Annie Plans insert. I've had this one for years at this point. Um, and you can write your own font on there or you can have it typed. You can clearly see I wrote that. Don't like it at all, but I'll probably type it out and change it up. But in here, I just have some Stalogy paper, the actual insert itself, and then a gratitude insert from Sierra SM Plans. My weekly usually goes behind my daily, but I find myself in my gratitude wellness section more than my weekly. I don't typically need a weekly section during summer. I mean, my kids are home. I primarily just work off of my daily or my monthly. So these are my past weeklies, just so you can see how I used those. And I definitely, I definitely like having them during like the school year and stuff. And then I have these Filofax dividers. You can get these off of Amazon. They just click in and they have a little tab. So I do have just a few weeks in the back here. I did switch up to her week on one page. It's more basic and simple. And those are there for when I need them. And then this is more of habit tracking. I'll get into that more once I've gotten myself into a rhythm, but I do have, um, Peanuts Planner Co. inserts in there. And then this one, I'm not really sure where this one is from. It's a 31 day habit tracking. It is from Think or Think Thinky. I don't, I'll link it below if I can find it. Sorry about that. Maybe you guys know that shop I'm talking about. And then this is family section. So a family section, I just have a pet insert. Y'all know we have a lot of pets <laughs> between goats and dogs and chickens and lizards and all the things so i keep track of like any vet visits and medications or anything that they might need that all goes there and then my children's section i have my filofax dividers i used to do this a long time ago with the four dividers and in each of their inserts i have just a medication log if they ever need meds um, a health log and i just track anything random about them i do have notes and passwords and like their email and all that kind of stuff in here too then when they're back in school, I have their teacher's contact information and whatnot as well. So that is that. And then back here, I don't really have anything crazy in my pockets. I did find this picture of myself <laughs> when I was little. And I just tucked it in here because I don't want to lose it. And this back pocket, I just have my checkbook register, which I'm going to be using the insert instead. And then in here, I don't know what that was. I just have a couple notes and a couple of band-aids in there. Also on this working on section, the out of my mind section, 
the, this is my stack of receipts because I've talked about it before. I do use the app called Fetch. I scan all my receipts. I get gift card rewards and I mostly redeem that on Amazon. I have that linked on a couple of my on a couple of my videos and I'll link it below on this one too. But yeah, that's it. That's kind of where I'm at. Like I said, once I get more like moved in and I'm more in the groove of my wellness section where I'm going to be spending the bulk of my time, I'll definitely show you guys more of that. But for a first flip, that's where I'm at. I do have other Giglio Campania flips on my channel if you want to watch those as well. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I would love for you guys to subscribe and come follow me on Instagram and I'll chat with you later.